Sundays with Bill. Hope you had a great weekend. Man, that weather was beautiful. Obviously, you can see how much I missed you. I want to thank uh, Natalie Cole for writing those beautiful words that helped me express uh, how I feel about my school. Thank you. So let's run down the week and talk about what's going on. Warriors of the Week will be announced tomorrow. Make sure that you're uh, really thinking about who deserves that during the week. I know it comes up fast, but we'd love to get those quality individuals signed up for Warriors of the Week with Miss Polak so she can award them and take their pictures. It's really a nice honor. Monday, College Swag Day. Make sure you wear that swag. Also, talk to, about, talk to our kids about uh, why you're wearing these shirts and why we're wearing those. It's a great thing in advisory to mention. Um, we don't just want to wear them to wear them. Make sure the kids are connecting with them. Um, and I've got some ideas on how to involve our kids more in that that I'll share at another time. Um, we have a uh, truancy court tomorrow. So that's happening. We also have an attendance meeting happening during period three um, for uh, students that have been chronically absent. We want to have some incentives for them that we're working on. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, ILT is meeting after school. Uh, also, Ms. Mooney and I are going to continue our home visits for um, students that are chronically absent. We want to make sure we're on top of that, especially in the beginning of the year. Attendance is everything. So we want them coming to school. They're doing a great job, but we're going to keep pushing on that. Um, and then soccer practice tomorrow for the girls. So on Tuesday, Highlander will be in the house. Also, we got some Mo Home visits happening. Uh, 360 High School was going to speak to our, our eighth graders. They'll be at West Broadway. Boys Soccer After School is playing against uh, Isaac Hopkins on the frozen tundra of Alvarez High School Field. So if you can make it, make it. Wednesday is our Unity Day. You remember that song, Unity, Queen Latifah? She will not be at West Broadway, but we will celebrate Unity Day. Make sure you wear that orange on uh, Wednesday, and that is about... Um, Standing up against bullying. Starfish meeting is at 9. I'm very excited to announce that Miss Johns won the uh, teacher incentive last week. And I will be teaching her period 2 class with Miss Bucci. Uh, excited for that on Wednesday. Girls soccer is playing Nathaniel Green after school. Thursday is our team day as always. Boys soccer has a game after school. And then it's B-I-N-G-O. Hope you can all make it. 5 to 6.30. Math bingo. We'll have some food and a lot of fun and some prizes. Hopefully you can stick around. Uh, it's 5 to 6.30. So I'd love to see you down there in the CAF. On Friday, we will be inspected by the Providence Fire Department who comes in um, a couple times a year just to make sure that uh, we're up to code on all the things happening. So you'll probably see that happening on um, Friday morning. We'll be going into all the classrooms and the hallways and all the offices uh, common planning time after school on Friday is a uh, school-wide on mindset. So please make sure that you are um, have chapters 1 and 2 read. We're going to review that next Friday in groups. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, if you didn't get the book, please let me know. I know I still uh, owe some books. And on Saturday, uh, we have cross-country at Bryant University for our cross-country team. So if anybody can make it, we will see you there. It's early, 9 a.m. on Saturday. Let's have a great week. I do want to go over a couple other things. Um, actually, before I let you go, we want to go over our attendance winners for this week. So stay tuned okay, for that. Here are our winners for the attendance challenge for Rocktober, which is still going on. But our initial challenges are um, for the homerooms that show the best attendance. Very competitive. Uh, last week you saw the numbers, I think, on Wednesday. So, uh, yeah, it was very competitive down the line. This is great. Great job incentivizing your uh, kids in advisory to come to school. So let me run it down for you. Uh, the winner for attendance in grade five is room 103, Mr. Landy. Congratulations to Mr. Landy. We know that you were only here 60% of the time. So that's ironic that all your students were here nearly 100% of the time. 
But Mr. Landy, I'm just giving him a hard time. He was up in um, Cambridge, Mass, working on our summit team. So he's bringing back a lot of good stuff for us. So good job, Mr. Landy, and your kids. So um, that's our grade five winner, room 103. And grade six, room 303, Miss Nicoletti, 100%. Uh, impressive. Can't do much better than that. 100% uh, attendance. Awesome. Grade seven, uh, congratulations in room B2. Senorita Arias with 96.47%. Muy bueno, Senorita Arias. Nice job. Grade 8, room 404. Always cleaning up in grade 8 with the attendance challenge. Two for two is Miss Cabral's room, 104, uh, room 404 with 98.04%. Great job. Great job to everybody that competed. We're going to do more of this. I think this helps build teaming. I think it's also fun for the kids, and our kids are very competitive, and I know you are as well. So um, what's going to happen is all the rooms that I announced, tomorrow I want you to uh, talk to your advisories, let them know that they won, have them think of a couple of songs uh, that are appropriate, and I will be up, I'll send you a separate email, but I will be up um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, one day in each room to create a music video for you uh, and with your kids. So uh, that should be fun. And then what we'll do is we're going to play those videos to the whole school on Monday morning, a week from tomorrow on October 30th. Everyone in the school will vote, and the winner will get free recess, including the teacher, on Halloween. So we're looking forward to that. It's very exciting. And um, any questions on that, let me know. Continue to uh, do a great job. I know this is a long month, but teach with passion, as you always do. Let me know if you need anything. I appreciate everything you're doing. And in a contest, because there's always some kind of contest going on. That's a big theme this year. But the first person who's going to be able to email me the artist and name of the song of what you're about to see next at the end of this Sunday's with Bill will win a free parking space. You're actually going to win the judge's parking space on Tuesday. So my email is ready. Listen to the instrumental, see if you know who it is, and enjoy. Teach with passion, thanks for all you do. Who loves your West Broadway?